Then the next slide we go for the band gap of nanometers. So the band gap when the size will be increases, the particle size will be increases. Band gap when will be increases. So see here at the uh, very lower size of the particle size, the band gap will be increases. So it's another uh, parameter will be. You know? Yes, we go for the mechanical properties. So like the ductility, strength, and the toughness, hardness. So Cartesian distributions. So these all the properties increases with the reducing in the size. So size will be reduces means this all property will be increases. And compared to the only whereas the density and electrostatic modeling uh, decreases with the reduction of the size. The size reduces means this property will be increases. So this is a major impact in the uh, mechanical properties. And we, next we go for the synthesis of the nanomaterials. So we have a lot of uh, synthesis methods. So especially we want to find out the or we want to synthesis the zero dimensional, one dimensional or three dimensional, whatever we want, we want to choose the method of synthesis. So that is we have three different uh, uh, methodologies. So first of, first of all we go for the I want to synthesis quantum dot or nanoparticles. This, that means zero dimensional we want means go for the hot sensing method as well as the dilution precipitation method and combustion method, Georgian method, biological method. So these are the main synthesis, main uh, method. So this is, so this is the quantum dot material as well as the some nanoparticle materials. That is a one dimensional materials. And next we go for the I want to synthesis the nano wire. That means uh, one dimensional. So we go for the definitely we go for the hydrothermal, solvo thermal, uh, temperature resistant and electrosporing. So these are the very important methods. So this is the one dimensional nano wires or nano dots and we want to see this the uh, nano seeds like seed laser that means uh, two dimensional structure means we go for the sonochemical, microwave, electrochemical, solvothermal so these are the methods to synthesize the two dimensional nano materials so these are types of the synthesis of our nano materials and so especially the biosynthesis it's a very important role one so because it is a very very lowest class as well as the uh, there is no hazard compared to the other chemical as well as the hydrothermal uh, methods. So it's a very famous one by using the selected microorganism using such as the bacteria, fungal, yeast, enzyme as well as the some other plant extracts. So these are the main role in the so to synthesize the bio materials. So bio nanoparticles. So what are the advantages are in the biosynthesis? First of all green synthesis is one of the green synthesis and it's a very eco-friendly materials and very low cost only synthesis process and can be used for the large scale synthesis uh, uh, without uh, up to uh, uh, 50 gram or 20 gram, 20 gram, 100 gram we can synthesis through the uh, biosynthesis material. So no need to use high pressure, temperature or any toxic chemicals. So it's only the bio extract like plant extract or microorganism. So like the yeast or any enzymes or bacteria, this is uh, essential need for to synthesis the nano material. So that is a basic, uh, it's a uh, act as a some stabilizing, capping as well as the some um, important role in the our biosynthesis material. And so uh, there is a not required any special culture or preparation and isolation techniques. So uh, only uh, this need for the any extract or biological uh, you know, material like uh, yeast or fungal bacteria that is more than enough to synthesis the nanoparticle. So compared to the other techniques, the biosynthesis is a very important role in the our nanoparticle. So, next one. So, synthesis methodology of the nano through the plant extract. So, what, what way we are choosing the biosynthesis, especially plant synthesis, is a very important role in the um, uh, so green synthesis in, uh, in the nanotechnology. So, because it's containing a lot of uh, organic compounds like terpenoids, alkaloids, carbohydrates, so a um, lot of um, carotenoids, so terpenoids. So, these are the major role to control the size of the nanoparticles. So bulk material to up to quantum dot we can prepare through the these uh, uh, capping agents. So the all the uh, organic compound, all the phytochemical compounds used as the capping as well as the stabilizing agent. So it's a major role in the our uh, nanoparticle context. So another very important one to, to maintain the pH as well as the concentration, reaction time, reaction temperature. So to get the very good nano powders or nano particles. So next we move on the characterization techniques. So we are using some nano particle. So how to confirm or how to determine the our nano 
particles. So we want to confirm through our first of all the XRD. XRD is a phase analysis as well as the crystalline morphology. So that is a major role to define the what are the uh, morphology present in the our nanoparticles. So through we can confirm through XRD as F area. So that is a, a structural confirmation. So especially the function group, what are the function group, whether carbohydrate present or carboxy acid present or aldehyde present. So this is a um, all the uh, function group confirmed through the FDA aspect. Next one UV visible. This is also sexual confirmation. And XR, XRF is a quantitative as well as the qualitative elemental analysis. So and TEM. So this is a very specific as well as the very um, uh, very famous instrument to determine the particle size as well as the micro uh, section and micro sections as well as the BLS. So this is uh, all calculate the the average particle size determination. So this is a very basic introduction of the our nanotechnology. So entirely we, uh, the nanotechnology is a very important role in the, all the area. So first we want to know what are the basic uh, essential character present in the our nanoparticles, our nanomaterials. So that is essential need. So thank you very much.